Hey Jake, there's uh, 55 seconds of you here. You're trying to, I can see here, you're trying to get your your shoulders, uh, uh, keep them aligned. Um, I think I actually have a, a, some footage here where you are dropping your outside shoulder like that. And then I think a little later on, we get some video of you where you're like there, you're really leaning away there, right? I think we get some video of you where you're staying into your rear a little bit better. Like this is a really good position and you stay into it. You just keep your shoulders aligned. That's really good. That's what we're looking for. Perfect on the wrists, fantastic on the inside arm. Um, you look a little unsure of yourself in the shoulders, like it just kind of looks like this, but you know, you gotta relax them a little bit more. But uh, here's a great uh, angle for you to see your catch. Nice, quick stuff, this is good stuff. I'll tell you, for a pure novice, this is mighty good. Mighty good. Um, all right, let's go back here. I'm going to let you just go ahead and look at the, um, the your shoulders out of alignment. By your, I mean, you can see right there. That's what we don't want. Then you come over here in a later one. No, you got that one wrong too. Is it over here? Here, this is different from, you know, this versus this, right? Much better. And you hold it all the way through the catch and go for the catch. Nicely done. Now, you are pushing with your legs a little bit here and not quite continuing to put the blade in fast enough. So you don't actually get buried until right there. And if you could just put the blade in faster, you wouldn't lose this front end. You lost a quarter of the leg drive there a little because of a little bit of rocking open and a pushing without the blade being in the water. Set the blade, then push against it, okay? Uh, I would drop it in a little bit earlier. You got a great shoulder position. You're all set up. The only reason it's not going in is because you're used to your inside arm slowing down the works and making you row it in. And as you can see, that's the result. Uh, more leg drive, some leg drive lost, and you don't need to lose any leg drive. Okay. Let's come up here and see what we've got. Great position. Fantastic. You're all set up. If you can just come up and just let your arms come up, catch it. Both wrists perfect. You can't ask for it better than this. Now it's just a matter of getting getting comfortable with that. There you use a little bit less of the leg drive, but you can still see you're still you're still using some leg drive. We got several guys right now who are putting it in. They're not losing any leg drive at all. So let's see how this is going in. Yeah, it's just a hair slower than it could be. And I think it's the culprit is right here. It's a little bit of tension. This is a little too straight. It's slowing it down just a little bit. You know, you could be fully in by about there at most right uh sorry i'm trying to move this up. there what's the difference between there and here you know is, is 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 very little but you can see that blade moves a long way in that time doesn't it and it adds up this is a nice coverage this is probably your best stroke here almost no leg drive out all gone and the blade is buried that's a better stroke than any of the ones you took before so that's really good let me tell you, for December 13th, this is good. This is really, really good stuff. Okay? And you're turning. I love that. Uh, See, so you're buried right there. These are two good strokes right there. This is what you're trying to get to. This is really nice. Your arms went up. You maintained your position. The blade's in. This is textbook. This is what we're looking for. Very, very well done. Um, so now you just keep going there and get greedy about how, how far you get that blade in how early it gets buried, and start to get greedy about the oar flex. You don't have much oar flex here. Notice how Tim's got a little bit of curve in that sucker right there. Early, that's good. You want to get a little more flex on yours a little bit early. Start, it, it makes perfect sense you don't have any yet because you're just not real comfortable with being in this position whatsoever, much less really doing something with it yet. But, you know, we're going to take more and more strokes where you're getting more and more comfortable with it. Nice job there. Um, and... You know, really start to take advantage of it. This is fantastic. What a great position. Good stuff. All right. So we're just going to really try to ingrain and improve and get you more comfortable with it and really start to flex that oar and start to do something with this position while you're there. Okay. Good stuff. Bye.